Hey guys, what's up? It's Jcraft Mapic Tuts for you here, and today I'm going to show you how to install a TeamSpeak 3 server on a Linux VPS. So, for this tutorial, I'm using a CentOS 6 32 bit VPS from .vps.net uh, and .co. I think they have both. I'll put a link in the description to where you can buy it from, but it's a really nice VPS because you can full root, you can reinstall it to whatever operating system you want, and it's pretty good RAM bandwidth and disk space for all that and the owner is super chill so um basically open up Windows CP and go ahead and launch your VPS if you don't know how host name's your IP port 22 username should be root if you don't own root that is a big problem password it is the password you gave them SSFTP and then allow SCP fallback okay so now that we're in we're gonna go ahead and open up putty Yes, it's not a potential security breach. Okay, password. Okay, so the first thing you always need to do is um, create a new user because it is never a good idea to run anything off of uh, root. Password oh, TS3 SRV. Change the password. Change the password again. Okay. So now close out, whoa, close out of, uh, yes, I'm sure, close out of WinSCP and Putty. Now reload WinSCP and new hostname, cool, I still had it, TS3SRV, password the password you put, log on in, Putty, log into the Putty, okay, right, so now we need to make sure that we're in Directory S three S R V. Okay, good. We already were. W get space. Open up Chrome. I have it open in my other tab. Team speak or my other monitor. Sorry, other tab. Downloads. Okay. Um, if you're sixty four bit, click download on sixty four server. Not, oh, 64 servers down here. My bad. Don't click that one. Click this one. Um, we're 32 bits. So we're gonna click download on this one. I agree. Commit. No thanks. Take me through download. Oh no! Wait! 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 Refer other. Please specify. Hmm. Epic tuts for you. Submit. Okay. Okay. So now we need to copy and paste this really quick before it actually downloads TeamSpeak 3 to me. And then just right click it into your uh, putty and hit enter. Should download it to your VPS. Okay, now we need to do tar space xvfz space team speak slash server. Not slash. Am I? I have no idea. Whatever. What? That's not slash. Dash maybe. Server underscore Linux. Same thing. <laughs> X86, same thing, 3.0.6.1.tar.gz. That is going to be different if you're a 64 bit. Okay. No such file. Where did I mess up at? Oh, I forgot the 3. <laughs> okay. So now we need to change directories. 3 SRV slash team speak 3 server underscore Linux slash x86. If you guys have seen my Minecraft tutorials, you guys know that uh, um, it is not that easy. This keyboard is not, uh, not that good. Okay, so now we're going to do dot slash team. S3 slash server underscore start script dot sh space start. Okay, so that started it, but we don't have a um, well, refresh. I was like, where is all my stuff? We don't have an INI file yet, so that's pretty much useless without the INI file. So we're gonna have to do dot backspace. DS3 server 
underscore min uh, mole underscore run script dot sh space create. What just happened there? I was looking at my other monitor and okay. What? Okay, min script dot sh space create. Oh. I and I file equals one. Boom. That should have not given me errors. <laughs> oh, I typed stuff wrong. Did I? No. Failed to validate. Okay, you know what? You, you're going to have to do that off of root, aren't you? My bad, people. Let's try that. I'm going to CP. CPS. Don't hate me. I'm sorry. Buddy. Ah, that's the wrong password. I already know it. Yeah, yeah. That was also the wrong password. <sighs> the keyboard is so tiny. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to have to block that out. <laughs> CD slash home slash. Actually, let me get my directory. Slash TS3. SRV slash TeamSpeak3 slash server underscore Linux. X. Okay, yes, there is such a file. Oh. It spelled server. Very wrong. Server. Okay. And now from here, uh, TS3 server underscore start script dot sh space start yeah okay what what is it doing here uh-huh there we go privilege key copy this copy that new text file priv key open it save that now we need to do our INI file. Actually, did I already create my INI file? Let's go look real quick. Did not. Okay. Dot slash TS3 server underscore minimal underscore run script dot SH space create INI file equals one. Okay, refresh, there's our INI file. Okay, where it says voice IP, file transfer IP, and yes, IP. I'm not going to pronounce that word because I butchered it really bad. Uh, put the IP given to you by your host. There we go. And um, more than likely, if you guys are watching this, this TeamSpeak server is going to stay up. Um, I have no plans on taking it down so um put back in the start script <sighs> try restart restart why did i just type restart okay so restart your team speak server okay let's see if that let's go connect to it Connected. And we are connected. And now we need the privilege key. Priv key. What is that? I don't know why it. Privilege keys. Okay, so now I'm added to admin. That's why you needed your privilege key, or you would not be admin. And you would just be stuck being a normal user, and everyone would be stuck being a normal user. Okay. So now, if I were to go here, um, that's how you make it, but here's a little extra. If I were to reboot my server right now, or, you know, get DDoS, blah, 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 it goes down, blah, 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 blah. Did it restart yet? Should have been disconnected by now. Connection lost. There we go. Right when I close everything out. Okay. So you see, um, my Error. server is offline now. So let's open everything back up. 
Okay, from root, by the way. I don't know why I closed everything. I really shouldn't have. We're going to do a cron job. Okay, so it's cron, tab, space, minus E. Now, press the I key. See what it says, insert. Okay, it'll be at reboot, space, backslash, home, backslash, TS3, SRV, slash, team speak, 3, slash, server, underscore, Linux, Lin, Linux, whatever that is, uh, x86, backslash, TS3, server, underscore, start, script dot sh space start okay now hit escape uh, colon wq enter and now that I think about that I will put whether or not it's supposed to be run as root for that or if it's supposed to be run from your t now that I think about that Oh, it was not supposed to be. Okay, do not do this from root. Do not do this from root, okay? That is supposed to be done from your TS3 one, not root. I'm sorry, I just remembered that. <sighs> I'm so terrible at tutorials. Anyway, so now when I reboot it, yes, reboot. Wait for it to reboot a bit. Make sure it's rebooted. It will take a few, it'll take about a minute to actually start up the server. But now when I do it, it should start up. Error connected. And I'm connected. Okay, so if you get DDoS, take it offline, whatever, your TeamSpeak team server, Jesus, will automatically come back up. See us, guys. This has been a tutorial from uh, JCry. Please comment, like, and subscribe on Epic Tuts. It means a lot to us when you comment and like, guys. So, yeah, uh, goodbye.